are in the 11th 59th hour in the grant ecosystem living in the disbursement weather as was confidently assured by the UAAG Confid Director Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama few days ago during a joint meeting with the All Grand Pressure Group President Comrade Abdul Saak and other key stakeholders all to assure Nigerians or the masses that disbursement is finally taking place in our town after seven years of disbursement deadlock disbursement is staring us right now at the face today we will look at three critical subjects of discussion as it concerns the bundle heads the disbursement committee and the ngo ceos firstly we will consider the ongoing activities of the disbursement committee ahead of disbursement next week secondly we will address the concern of those grant subscribers who apply for the UAAG grant on the Google form that was circulated by NGO CEOs on the internet. And thirdly, we will address those activities that NGO CEOs should currently be carrying out in preparation of the disbursement ahead. Hence, they will disburse within 24 or 48 hours when the money hits their bank account. Thank you for having me today. I'm the CEO of Home Julia TV. Let's quickly address the first subject of this session, which is the ongoing activities of the disbursement committee to usher in disbursement. Officially, before disbursement can take place, there are those modalities, those structures that should be inaugurated in preparation of this disbursement activity. Part of it is the monitoring team. The responsibility of this monitoring team is to checkmate the activities of these NGO CEOs in every state, in every region and in the national perspective. Then there is a disbursement committee who is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring those schedules that were submitted by the grant handler to the commercial bank will disburse the grant accordingly as it is spelled out in those schedules to the concerned partnering NGOs. For the concept of this session, let's look at those discrete activities that should be expected before disbursement takes place. One is there should be signing of MOU by the NGO CEOs. Yes, the CEO will sign the MOU in the app. You don't need to travel around the state to Abuja. You log into your app when it is available. You sign it there. It's just a click. That's the advantage of the digital age. Then, after this, some people may wonder what is the MOU like. As we already know, the MOU is simply an instrument that reveals the objective, the goals, or the blueprint that of activities to be executed by two parties or to ensure there is no future uncertainties or dispute during or after disbursement. Few weeks ago, some bundle heads were entertaining fears if their NGO will truncate the disbursement. But the good news is that this MOU is revealing those objectives, those templates of arrangement that your NGO should follow up discreetly. You can't act out of these prescriptions. Then the NGO CEOs must deliver on this blueprint to ensure that the bundle heads interest and the subscribers interest are duly protected. So bundle heads have no reason to fear if their NGO will disperse the entitlement that is meant for them to them. This disbursement committee or the monitoring body responsibility is to ensure these NGO CEOs live up to this blueprint. Let's look at the second subject of discussion which is those activities that the NGO CEOs should be indulging in right now as a preparation ahead of disbursement. It is expected that 
your NGO, you as an organization should streamline your data, your Excel template and arrange it in a work payment format. Hence, when money hits your bank account, you will ensure this disbursement takes place within 48 hours at most. It is equally your responsibility as the NGO CEOs to ensure there is no duplication of account name in your template. As a rule, you are not expected to disburse to one account name twice in your NGO. So this is the appropriate time to subject your data to in-depth screening and analysis while eliminating those duplications of account details. I know there were some one who had that submitted one account number for 10 different disbursements to be affected to that account alone. Normally, before now, bundle heads who have like 5 bundles, 10 or 20 bundles only submitted one account details for the whole money to be disbursed into. But going by the activities that was uh, discovered during the screening and verification exercise, which was stated that as a rule, no particular account number is expected to receive disbursement twice. So going by this, this is the time for the NGO CEOs to call attention of those bundle heads who submitted one account details to receive 10 different disbursements to replace it with 10 separate account names. All to ensure that there will be no delay when this money hits their own account. And then, this is notwithstanding the fact that you as a bundle head or beneficiary will continue to receive your disbursement with the same account number in other NGOs. Assuming you subscribe to 10 or 20 different NGOs with your account name, you will continue to receive one disbursement each with all those NGOs that you subscribe with. But for one particular NGO, you can only receive disbursement once or to ensure there is no duplication of disbursement to a given account name. The NGO CEOs should review their data during this hour that we are because the disbursement can overtake all of us by surprise starting from Monday till Wednesday. Those that are uh, before now, I know some people wanted to ask when is the MOU signing going to take place. We stated that as part of the activities to usher in disbursement will be signing of MOU. So if disbursement is happening in this week that we are approaching, then MOU signing should take place between tomorrow, Monday to Wednesday. Then next activity expected in the week is the national broadcast of the country director of this grant. This broadcast aims at revealing those core contents of the FOU that is meant for public consumption to the awareness of the other parties which is the recipient ahead of disbursement. So for the first time before the disbursement takes place, the country director will review those entitlements that you are meant for as a bundle head or beneficiary publicly. Hence, you will know that your NGO is not reducing your entitlement. Hence, all of us will checkmate each other activities across non-governmental organizations to ensure there is no dispute at the cost of this disbursement. Then to the third subject of this session, the concern of those uh, subscribers who applied for this grant using the Google form that was circulated by NGO CEOs. I've seen too many complaints in the WhatsApp and Telegram groups, fears of uh, the fact that because it is stated that it is going to be one bundle, then uh, bundle heads will be disposed to as recipients. Then those who fill the Google form who never knew their NGO CEOs are now feeling threatened of the fact that they will never become beneficiaries as bundle heads will become instant beneficiaries. These are one of those things you need to wait for the national broadcast of the country director before finally coming into terms with this reality. And permit me to equally intimate you that part of those 
arrangement or activity that is ongoing in the disbursement committee is to ensure the money that is going to be disbursed is reasonable. Don't forget that the Lagos meeting between the parties of the UAAG and the All Grants Pressure Group with government representative was not just on resolution of conflict, it was to streamline the entitlement that is meant for all parties involved, especially all to ensure that the money that will be disbursed will be beneficial or will help every party to build meaningful and reputable life. There was a circulated rumor that uh, uh, recipients are to receive 100,000 naira. But thank God for the magnanimity of the grant handlers, the all grant pressure group wing and the UAAG wing, by letting government know that the current economic hardship, the 100,000 should be disposed to every individual or the recipient, it is as good as nothing at all. Then the aims of this grant will be defeated. It is at this instance that there need to be adjustment of the entitlement of recipients going by the realities that rise at the moment is going at the rate of 75 to 80,000 Naira. Then if 100,000 Naira is disbursed to an individual, what sort of living, what sort of business can such a recipient start with just the 100,000 in an economy that cement is sold at uh, 9,000 to 10,000 Naira or 11,000 Naira in some states. In a society where Gary is sold at the rate of 250 Naira a cup, what sort of business can a recipient or a beneficiary of this grant start with even 500,000 Naira? It is those concerns that the disbursement committee saddled with the responsibilities of streamlining this entitlement is currently undergoing at the moment all to ensure that when you receive this money the entitlement or the sum that is going to be disbursed to you will meet up with those economic realities confronting nigerians at the moment everyone have no reason to worry on the entitlement going to be disbursed as the grant handlers are doing everything humanly possible to ensure it is reasonable enough for all Therefore, to those audience who apply for this grant through the Google Forms that were circulated by NGO CEOs, uh, understand that some of these NGO CEOs don't have bundles under them and they mobilize their own beneficiary audience at the internet through the Google Form. So those NGOs are still going to entertain those audience and disperse to them accordingly. You don't need to know the NGO CEOs because uh, even the Google form did not bear the name of the organization, although some of them bear it, but it did not, some did not even bear the phone numbers of the CEOs for you to call. So don't entertain fear of not going to benefit from this grant because those NGO CEOs who did not have bundle heads to dispose to actually circulate the, bond, the Google form to mobilize their own online beneficiaries. I think that is the category you fall into then you will receive your disbursement accordingly. Besides, keep your ears on the ground for NGOs that will need beneficiary base when bundle is allocated. This bundle allocation will surprise everyone. The masses may be thinking of one bundle going to be disbursed there. To the shock of some people, there may be more than one bundle disposed to NGOs and this will call for immediate mobilization of beneficiaries from the online audience. And this call for more presence of bundle heads or recipients in the digital space, especially in the next in 3-4 days to come. The disbursement of UAH grants has never been this realistic, especially after the meeting of the UAH and the LGPGN with the government representative at Lagos. I know like Apostle Ken will say that when you think there's no other document to sign, then you witness another document presented by the government for you to sign. But the mother of all documents were signed by these parties during the Lagos meeting. Uh, the, the meeting witness, 
the all grand pressure group representatives, the UAHG representatives, and the government representatives sitting on one table streamlining this disbursement policy as it suits the economic state of the nation and finally come into an agreement and conclusion of disbursement taking place. The next new week is going to bring surprises and good news to the grand ecosystem. All what we need at the moment is to fasten our prayer to ensure no petition rise from any camp or any party to upset these successes that is established both by the side of the government and the grand handler. We need to go, those that are spiritualists should go into deep fasting and prayer for this activity to go without a hitch. We trust this is our time. The disbursement of the grant in Nigeria is happening right before us. The new week as we are approaching is going to witness the signing of MOU by the CEOs on the app. The NGO CEOs on their part should streamline their bundles better in a bulk payment format to fasten disbursement as money hits their account. There will be a national broadcast by the country director ahead of disbursement. And finally, we will receive a, a lot of these grants in our bank account this week. The NGO CEOs should be checking the UAH app for the MOU that they are to sign. I know there will be first an official signal from the UAAG Partners Telegram platform for the CEOs to sign the MOU under the shortest time possible and forward back to the UAAG for the main activity to take place. The new week we are approaching is going to hold surprises and good news for all grant subscribers in the history of grants in Nigeria. Um, kindly comment, like, turn on the notification bell on our channel. Hence, we are going to bring to you the disbursement template, the national broadcast by the country director of UAAG, as well as the signal for signing of MOU and details of this activity of the disbursement committee in the week lying ahead. Thank you for having